area is a, a special, special composition because I had made a melody long ago and uh, somehow I felt that some Punjabi lyrics would go well with the song. We started this process in February when Raman sent me the tune for the Dilderia and uh, but we weren't sure about the lyrics. So then uh, I decided to turn to my lyricist and my mother Polly Sagera. Polly Sagera ji, she suggested this beautiful Sufi kalam by Hazrat Sultan Bahu. I read more about him and this particular verse selected by Polly Man, it fit in so well with the melody that I had written. Dindariya samundaron dunge. And, um, but those are the only lines that she remembered and then she said let's just do a little more research on this particular kalam and we did and uh, you know this tune really has the ability to take you somewhere else to another world and there's a lot of depth in this tune. Dil It's just, uh, it, I just felt that the tune and the lyrics sort of fit like a glove and then we um, shared this idea with Raman and Raman uh, seemed to like it. And I felt now this song needs a special destination. So this was a dedication. The song is about love that transcends selfishness, that transcends the circle that we draw around ourselves. So Nikhil Rao, a very good friend from Indian Ocean, I just asked him that it is your guitaring, that, that uh, little spiritual element, the little Indian element that he can bring in, so he gladly agreed. He wanted me to play some uh, Indian or Carnatic influenced uh, uh, guitar lines for it. So uh, without much planning, I just heard the track a few times and I used the Brindavani Sarang bit uh, to jump off and just uh, develop uh, a guitar piece in, uh, that goes a few directions and comes back because of course it's being done in the context of a three to four minute uh, short pop song. So there's no question of <laughs> elaborate long guitar solos, uh, but that's what I had in mind. And uh, I, I, I sent him uh, what I had and Raman said, okay, thank you. And he disappeared for a few weeks. And then when he sent me the track, I was quite surprised because, you know, thanks to uh, the situation where we, we, we are all uh, confined to be at home, he was not able to record the ghatam. So, uh, so he had to use some, uh, some drums and some other loops. So, and it sounded so different from what I expected. So shout out to Raman and also the producer uh, Shrikant. I wanted to keep the song more uh, in a certain pace which shows like it's a journey and uh, Jasleen did a brilliant job because her voice is so unique that the way she has expressed in her voice I think it was uh, sort of more than enough. I dedicated this to all those workers, organizations and individuals who have been working tirelessly. They are heroes in my opinion and all of you would agree, all of us are on the same page in that anybody who goes out of their way to make life a little better for those worst hit by this situation, I felt Hazratji's words are for them. It is indeed a mystical song. I hope those of you who are watching it, those of you who are listening to it, Thank you songview.com for distributing this song worldwide. I hope you will find some sense of a connection with the kind of love Hazrat Sultan Bhagavati speaks about.